I see you've bought some industrial strength Velcro. That was for the foam on the walls. That was for you and my mom. Velcro? She told me. <laughs>Hi, uh, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. Keep it kinky, kids. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. How are things on the twit? That's a little personal. You want to know that about your mother? Not really. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Like, subscribe, 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 button because it helps the algorithm. Algorithm. Here. Algorithm. Definition helps us. And uh, today. We're doing a movie review, you little shitlets. Anybody else do that with me? Because if you do, you're no, awesome. Absolutely nobody. Have, uh, there's one person in, in Hyderabad. In fact, after I say a movie review, and they're like, ooh, let me skip the next point, however long it takes you. How long does it do it? Do it. <laughs> point 0.5 seconds. Uh, 1.5. Probably 1.5. Do it again. <laughs> does this really matter? <laughs> I just wanted to draw it out. Uh, anyways, uh, today we're doing a movie uh, review of uh, the uh, 2022 film, uh, Malayalam film. Um, Mukundan Unni Associates. I think that's close enough for hand grenades. How would you say it? Just like that. Well, not. I wouldn't say it exactly like that, but the pronunciation. How would you say it? Mukundan Unni. Mukundanani. Yeah, Mukundanani. I think you got it exactly the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Mukundanani just, just slowed it down a little bit. Uh, directed by? Uh, forgive mispronunciations. Abhinav Sundar Nayak. And he wrote it as well. Along, along with, with uh, Vimal Gopalkrishnan. Uh, and then starring... Uh, Vineeth Srinivasan. And... And Suraj. Who we've seen uh, quite a bit of. Absolutely. Uh, him, I don't think we've ever seen him before. The, the, the lead... I, I, did, I didn't recognize. Oh no, no, Priam, Priam. No, we saw that. It was the butterfly one that we didn't we didn't like as much. I don't remember what he was. In that I film, don't remember though. that either because that was a while ago. Uh, I think it was beginning of last year. I oh. think it was when it was. But yeah. anyways, um, obviously this came out last year. Uh, so we're gonna do 100 percent spoiler review since it's not new technically, even though I didn't hear about this when it came out last year. Um, so it'll be 100 percent spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back and Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Yeah, and we watched it on Hulu. Hulu, of all places. Well, Not a very common platform for us to watch stuff here. It's because um, it's on Disney Plus Hotstar, mm. which isn't available in America mm. because that would take away from Hulu and Disney Plus. Right. And so, so this time they've put, they've took, uh, since they take that platform away, they put it on their other platform, which yeah. is Hulu. Yeah. So we'll, we are going to obviously have a lot to talk about like we usually do. Um, I loved this. I, I have a lot to say about this that I like. I think it's also a far more intelligent film than face value gives. I think there's a lot of people who can walk away from this and think, wow, that was funny. It was also pretty damning in a beautiful way. And I'll share more about that as we get into it. But I, I just, from, from the beginning all the way through, I loved its weirdness. I loved its message. I loved its lead. And it was one of the, one of the, more fun movies and I needed that because I've been watching some films recently that are nominated for the SAGs and nominated for Oscars and there's a couple that have gotten nominations that just so it was nice to be <sighs> breathe life artistically back into me um, I hated this movie I'm kidding <laughs> I knew that couldn't it be true. It strained credulity. I knew it Let couldn't. Let me tell you. It couldn't be true. <laughs> <laughs> no, and actually, in fact, if I had seen this film last year, it would have been easily in my top five of of the of the year last year. I, I, uh, would, I, I won't argue. I, would, I'm, I mean, I, yeah, it's, I haven't it's great. delved into what my list last year and putting this in it, but I can already just say I was like, I... This is my kind of movie. I love this movie. Uh, and I know this uh, movie... Um, has gotten a lot of parallels, and I, I I think it is inspired. I don't know if you ever saw this film, the um, the Sound of Silence. That's a song, not a movie. Is it um, Night Walker or uh, with Jake Gyllenhaal? Did you ever? See I've that seen one? that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. It's very different, but it's inspired by because it's it's essentially a, a guy 
who in, in that one obviously took advantage of people in taking pictures and not helping them and kind of to to get up in the ranks. And so it, it is similar in that aspect. The, uh, that would be the only similarity. Um, but obviously, I think this one did a lot of cool things. And I also heard that one of the things I loved was the inner monologue he was giving. Loved it. I love that choice. But apparently it. it was only a choice in post. It was uh-huh. not initially and wasn't originally scripted. It was supposed to just be silent a lot of time, and I think that added so much. Oh, I love it! Character and quirkiness, oh. and also just it also helped you, even though this guy's a narcissist, dick, awful person. It kind of helped you, He's kind of a freaking sociopath. Yeah, he is. It helped you kind of almost relate to him yes. at times, which is great. Obviously, you love to do it, even with a terrible. And it tells you right off the bat with this I, film that there's people that are, a lot of people are gray. Yeah, and then some people are just black, black. and I, that sets you up for exactly what this film. I'm was genuinely doing. shocked that something that works so well and to me is so critically important to the goodness of this movie, which is the narration, mm-hmm. was not intended from the get go. Yeah, well, it, that it, it, that's, that really surprises. If me. If it's not true, uh, let me know. But I, that's uh, that's wow. one of the things I heard. Wow, uh, somebody say in which. I was like, oh, my word, that would have changed. I mean, I think it probably would have still been a good, but it would have been totally yeah, different. I'll give you one moment. That's one of my favorite moments among many that are just like this. Mm. He's sitting there and he looks and the guy walks in and he says a few things about him. And then the final thing he says after he rattles off a couple things, he goes, oh, my God, hair jail. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking hysterical. Derek. Oh, it's very funny. Um, the, there were so many moments like that with the narration that were just brilliant. Yeah, it's... It's one of those things that it's not used often, and sometimes I don't like it because I think it's a cop out as well, uh, like the inner monologue. Yeah. Sometimes when if it's not used, it's a it's a it's it's directly. a easy way it, to get exposition. It could, it could kind of be like two years later or <laughs> yes, <laughs> kind of that kind of stuff that I'm, I'm not right. a huge fan of. Right. But when it's done like this in a black comedy. Uh, I just, I think it worked so well. Like so many, I laughed out loud so many times. So did I, many times. I was was trying not to wake up and draw because I watched it early enough that it it could have. And I was really holding in my laughter. uh, Like, (laughs) she breaks up. Boring, predictable. (laughs) (laughs) And then like, like when he, later in the film, when he's like, suicide. Let's go. (laughs) I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. The narration parts for me were were at the top of my list of favorite parts. On top of his performance along with those, uh, the fact that he was straight faced most of the times, it wasn't like he was playing to the shtick, which may be why it worked because he didn't know there was going to be narration over him. He reminded me of, and I, this is. I'm I'm talking about uh, Vin. Vin Yeah, our lead. Yeah. He reminded me of, and this is the highest, highest compliment, because anybody who knows the actor I'm about to name knows the work ethic, knows the comedic genius. He reminded me a lot of Peter Sellers. Mm, yeah. A lot. If, mm. if, if, if someone would have said to me, okay, I want to do the Indian Pink Panther, he'd be at the top of my list to play Inspector Clouseau. Mm-hmm. Top of my list. It'd be, uh, especially, I, I think, Malayalam. Maybe, yes. they, maybe they have done it, but Malayalam is so... I say it all the time. So creative and, and intelligent, and intelligent, and also they don't they they're not following. I mean, maybe obviously I think they have commercial films. I think Mahmoodi or Mohanlal has like big commercial films coming out along with their smaller independent films. Um, not Mahmoodi. I meant Mohanlal. Um, but a lot of times they just like this is what we do, and our people support th- our cinema. Thank God, uh, <laughs> truly, uh, because it's they they really. Uh, dance to the beat of their own drum, uh, which is it's wonderful because I, nowhere, no other industry does what they do so consistently. No, and just like I want to have a creative story with really good acting. There's a, there's enough evidence. Mm-hmm. There is enough evidence that we've seen over the years that make it really clear that Malayalam films have a priority mm-hmm. story, and that includes you know the script story acting and then just putting it all together in a way that is extraordinarily original yeah and it's, they're it's wonderful and hats off to the director uh say his name again please uh Abne, abinav sundarnayak there were so many creative choices in this film that i loved obviously the the, the lead's performance but there was so many like just really off the bat i loved every animation that oh. came on screen and it started with the 
you know, every film, especially in Malayalam, has the no smoking stuff going on, right? And it started off with this fun animation. Like, thank you for making it fun, because I, I hate that stupid shit that they yep. put in this thing. But then, like... No they, animals were harmed. Yeah, they bring it back so many times to, like, narrate what he's thinking of doing as well. And it's so... It's just stick figures. Or it's a stick figure with his his face on it. The story about killing his grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... It's it's this film is so quirky uh, and and well blended together of absolutely. just uniqueness uh, of telling this story that it should, it made it so enjoyable for me um, that I, I I literally just when it ended I was like that was so fun I, I really love that and one of my favorite things of the story aside from the humor and the things we've just stated were the very real dark reality of corruption at every level most especially in the medical world and, yeah yeah but but corbin would know about this but y'all wouldn't know about this but it's a great time to talk about it so i can say this to the medical community in america <laughs> uh, my dad has i've been going through living hell since june 25th with the medical community and medicaid and medicare and the I can tell you, from personal experience, I, I didn't need this. I already knew this about the American health system, and it's mm -hmm. not just the American health system. It's anywhere people can profit off of other people's sickness, yes. whether it's their moral sickness or their physical sickness or their economic sickness. There will always be assholes ready to make money off of it and ready to make you jump through hoops. And there was an extra sense of stinging glory that I loved about this movie because it – ridicules and mocks the insanity and the evilness and the sinfulness of anybody in the medical world, the political world, the insurance world, the criminal world, the legal world who 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 prioritizes personal ambition over brotherly love, who, who prioritizes subjective rationalization versus objective truth, and who looks at human suffering as an opportunity to profit. Yeah. That's my favorite takeaway because this is this has got the funniness of a Pink Panther, mm -hmm. but it's got the f u to the powers that be of you name it. Mm -hmm. It's it is an f u. Yeah, and it's uh, the the way it handled the the situation of him just your lead, which is one of the things I love about Malayalam cinema. They don't care that, that like the Indian society a lot of times doesn't like their hero to be a bad guy or, right. or gray at all. Right. He needs to be upstanding Indian. Right. Jai Hin. Right. All the time. Um, but they just don't care. Then <laughs> like our lead is a sociopath scumbag asshole who literally takes advantage of people and kills people for his better betterment of himself. Yeah, th th there's nothing wrong and there will always be a place for the legends that are the heroes of myth. Right? Mm -hmm. But I'm Give me, f give me human beings. Yeah, yeah. Which give is, me human being. And I, that's one of my favorite lines. Is a throwaway. There's so many little throwaway little lines that he gives that have so much meaning. And one of them was, he does something and he says to us, assuming we agree, that's the right thing to do. Yep. <laughs> He's convinced himself, and it isn't. It's heinous. Mm -hmm. I also loved the subtle but not so subtle use of snake. Mm -hmm. Because the universal symbol for the medical world is the two serpents going up the pole. That is the universal symbol for medicine and the use of snake in this and the multiple meanings of that, not just for the representation of the medical community, but the snakes within it, I thought was freaking brilliant. And I also, I also, one of my favorite lines, he sees Suraj again after he's dead. He goes, man. Even in a hallucination, he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, him as well, uh, Suraj. Uh, one, he's a phenomenal actor. He's We've seen him in so good. many things. He's 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 a really really good actor. Love seeing him. But I love also what they did with his character in this. The Me fact too. that obviously he was kind of his arch nemesis, and then obviously he turned. And he was like, okay, now I'm going to kill him. Yeah, he dies. But then they bring him back oh. as this like almost. Moral oh, yeah, almost like the angel or devil on yeah, his shoulder. Like, are, are you really gonna do this? Well, right. It normally would be like his conscience, but it's just the guy he killed. But he's not helpful in his eyes. <laughs> it's I. One of my favorite things among many with Malayalam cinema is they'll do anything, and I really had no 
I thought the movie was over. It when was he died? it. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I hadn't looked at the time signature at all. Uh -huh. So when he died, I thought, that's freaking great. And then it kept going, and I thought, that's freaking great. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no way to predict where it's going to go. No. And uh, another thing I want to, like, another brilliant aspect of the writing is, uh, and it, what it talks about is, you know, there's a lot of people in every industry, probably whether it's film industry or that, that choose the, um, I don't, know, say, I don't know, wrong path is the correct term, but they choose a shortcut right. path to get where they want to go. Right. And that's obviously a big message in this. Absolutely. And, like, and he, use people. He couldn't be a, a, a regular lawyer. Right. Because he couldn't he, he couldn't handle it, so he found a shortcut. All's fair in love and war. Uh, and that, yeah. was, that was his entire... And I love the fact that he was just, every single turn, he couldn't handle anybody no. getting anything better than him. When he was getting married to this beautiful woman... <laughs> He found out this other guy yep. was marrying somebody who had a better profession. Yeah, and he was like, "This cannot stand." <laughs> the bottom line for this guy is success, meaning the money and the fame and the power, is a inherent moral good. Just get the success. Mm -hmm. And our character does not have any arc. He goes through no change. Nope. He ends exactly the way as he started, and he's actually worse because he was rewarded for doing the crap he did. Yeah, freaking. Uh, you know uh, the uh, the women uh, in this uh, his, were great. His, I recognize uh, her. Uh, yeah. By the way, I, I many times she's got that Disney princess Sri Devi. What was her name? Eyes aspect. Her 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 eyes are so <laughs> expressive and large and beautiful on film. What was her name? Her character's name? Yeah. Uh, uh, oy, oy, oy. I can't see it on IMDb. Is oh, it, crud. Is, is it this? No. Well, pull up her picture. You can't miss those eyes. It's not here. If there's if no... The, if, if it was that... It, I think it was her. Ma Manakshi. Ma Manakshi? I, I think that was... So if it's Was her... that... Wait. Or was it the other character? Uh, uh, that, that, uh, no, uh -huh. that was his girlfriend. Advocate Giothi. It was the other one, and there's no picture for her. And she was great too. Uh, Tan, oh Tan, yeah, Tanvi Ram. Tanvi Ram. I really enjoyed her her performance. As did the, I. The girlfriend I thought was. I think yeah. I like Arsha that. Baiju? Let me <laughs> and see. She was like, I don't, I don't want to work. I just want to sit down all day and oh, relax. They're perfect for each <laughs> other. They really were. Baiju. Uh, <laughs> let me see if that's her. Yeah, that's absolutely her. Why did you have a uh, picture on IMDb? She, she looks, doesn't need one. She looks familiar, though, doesn't she? Well, she very much has, in certain angles, there were points. Like she, she reminded me of a combination of... Sri Devi eyes? Sri Devi eyes, and who, who is the actress that did Briani? Oh, I don't know. I forget her name. But reminded yeah. me a little bit of her, too. Gotcha. Um, I also loved, before I forget, <laughs> there's one time he's telling us about a couple things he wants to do, and he says number one and number two. Number one, the guy's peeing. And then number two, he's sitting on the toilet, and as it said, number two, in addition to the visual, you get. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, the uh, Andrani would love this movie um, for its intelligence, especially. Yeah, the everything about it, like I, and I, I remember last year when I said it. Normally, Malayalam is always comes out. With like my favorite film of the year, it, yeah. it was pretty. And it, last year there was some in there, like Fafa's film was in there, but it, it didn't win. Um, if this came out, I, I I probably could have talked myself into it being my favorite or one of my top. It would have two, three favorites. It, it would have definitely been in my top um, five, probably. I don't know yeah. what I would have replaced, but um, it because it it, it's it's a wonderful it's, movie because it's just so intelligent. And I also love the quirky score, the composition yeah. by. Uh, CB uh, great score C CB uh, Matthew Alex right? great score it's very quirky crazy quirky it gave it like even though like a lot of evil stuff is going on it gave it this light hearted feel which adds to the sociopathness exactly the way the score they're totally different scores but it works as well as the score in Napoleon Dynamite works <laughs> yeah where the music is so central to what's going on that if you were to hear the music you will be instantly in the movie again. Yeah. If I heard any of that score again, I would immediately feel like I'm in the film again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do we talk about everything we wanted to talk about? Yeah. I mean, and it goes without saying, some of the technical aspects in a film like this can easily be overlooked. 
a huge contributor to the flow of this film is the editing. Yes. Hats the, off the, to the, the editor, the, which the is the editing uh, choices and the flow of oh, the, the director film was one of the editors. Was was ex there is this is a really really good example. You'll hear us talk about films and how a film probably could have been trimmed. There's no fat on this thing. Mm -hmm. There is zero fat. I wouldn't change a frame of film or a page of script. Yeah. Um, no fat on it. Uh, and I loved all the dynamics in the film of him with the, the the doctor guy and then him with the police officers and then like everything. I love the whole I love the whole element of when he was ready to kill himself. <laughs> it, was, it was such a matter of a fact because <laughs> obviously he, his whole thing was it's, be, it's better to die than to, to fail. die and rot than fail. And so, so I didn't succeed. I might as well die. Uh, and and it, I love. It, he's like, uh, you, you have to get like 10, seven pills will do it. Oh, you can only get two. I <laughs> and I love Suraj appears. He sits on the thing. He's ready to die. And Suraj shows up. And he goes, why are you going to kill all these innocent people too? <laughs> oh, well. Oh. And then he gets, oh, it was so good. <laughs> I would I would go home and watch this again today with Andrani in a heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, Such an enjoyable movie. Absolutely. Uh, phenomenal film. Great job to everybody involved, uh, especially the director, obviously. Uh, say his name. Uh, Abhinav Sundar Nayak. Uh, fantastic job. Uh, fantastic. Uh, just Malayalam industry, man. Just everybody keep doing what you're doing. And I'm, I'm believing in... The, you guys are getting the audience, and I just uh, hats off. I know this one didn't come out this year, but my two favorite films that I've watched this year so far are two Malayalam films. Your favorites of the year of India, yeah. Even though this one didn't come out this year, I'm saying like yeah. the, the stuff that we've seen in 2023, yeah, uh, was LJP's film, which is another that's my favorite of the year, intelligent film, yeah. That's uh, my favorite of the and year. then this one, even though it didn't come out this year. Because I didn't even hear about this last year. Which is... And I'm, I'm sure some of you told us in the comments, but obviously yeah. we get hundreds of comments in each thing, and it's hard to it's keep really up. really hard. Especially with small... And I'm betting, I bet you, we did not get this here in terms of... In theaters. In theaters. Yeah. I bet we did not yeah. um, because we barely got LJP film. <laughs> and I think we got LJP because... He's he's reached a level, particularly with what the buzz came with Jellicatu. He he's he's got a name recognition that justifies distribution. Yeah. Anyways, um, so let us know what you thought about this film and what should be our next Malayalam film that we should watch. Please let us know down below. Mm -hmm.